In this video, I want to show you how to bust reverb and delay. I'll be working in Logic Pro, and I think this is going to just open up a lot of doors, and I'm going to show you how I was taught, because it's just like put so many light bulbs off in my head when I was taught it like this, and I think it's going to help you mix your tracks much better. I think it's going to help you create way more space and interesting parts in your songs. And it's just going to give you many more tools in your music production toolbox. I will focus on the lead vocal here, this lead vocal, and we'll bust out some reverb and we'll bust out delays. And we'll also touch on some ear candy um, automation with that, but you have to stick with us for further in the video for that part. I will play from bar nine to about bar 13, just to give you the context of this lead vocal. And then we're going to recreate this bus nine and we're going to recreate this bus 10. Close my eyes, feel the sun on our face We hear the music from the bar There's a man selling drinks in a case We share a couple in the stars So that's the lead vocal we're working with. I'm going to turn these bus 9 and bus 10 off. Notice uh, if you're familiar with Valhalla Reaver, which you know I like a lot, I do have one on the channel strip itself, a small mix uh, plate delay, just to put it in a bit of a space. That's something I like to do, but I like to do, but you don't have to do that. Let's start with Reaver first. First step is going down to this little gray box here, and we're going to create a new um, bus track. So I'll just make some space here and go bus 19. It's created a new aux track for me. I'm going to double click at the bottom, aux 15, and just say vox underscore verb. First thing I'll do is add a reverb to this track. And to keep us on the same page, I'm going to add a stock logic reverb, space designer, and I'm going to choose a preset, something like a concert hall between 3.5 and 4 seconds. Let's do warm hall. I'll X that down. And I'm also going to add an EQ here. I'm going to explain why I add an EQ in a little bit, but this is a very important step to do. Now that we have our aux track set up, we have our plugins added. If we just play this track, close my eyes, feel the sun on our face. Nothing has happened because we haven't sent any signal yet, right? So if you're familiar with a little bit of, with bus sends, you'll know you have to click and drag up to send dry signal to your aux track. And I like to send a complete copy of the signal. So that means basically you're sending 100% of the dry signal. And to do that, you can hold option and just click and bring that up to zero. And that means you're basically sending all that lead vocal dry signal to the aux track and you're putting it on the bus and so now on this track i have a dry signal that i can now tweak in effect this is what's going to i think help you uh, wrap your head around bus sends if i go to this vox verb track and right click and create the track it's now in the session here we have lead vox and we have vox verb so think of bus tracks aux tracks as completely separate tracks that have their own volume their own plugins, their own automation, their own panning. They're, they are 100% different tracks. So when you add reverb as a bus track, uh, as an aux track, and I'm going to be switching back and forth to of those, of, of those names. When you add a, a new aux track, you are duplicating the track. So we have a lead vocal track, and now we have a reverb track. So because we're sending 100% of the dry signal to bus 19, we can now mix in the volume of our reverb track based on taste to how we want it to sound with the rest of our song. For example, let me just play those both. You're gonna hear a lot of reverb here. Close my eyes, feel the sun on our face. We hear the music from the bar. Just lowering that reverb volume. There's a man selling drinks in a case. So now's the time to mix it in. I would never I mean, you can, but I would, I typically like to do that mixing of the reverb in context with the rest of the song, because remember, you're making a song, you're producing a song, you're not just, no one's ever just listening to the lead vocal track in solo. So let's mix it in with the rest of the song in context. Let's start really big so we can hear it and then mix it in. Close my eyes, feel the sun on our face. We hear the music from the bar. There's a man selling drinks in a cage. 
case. We share a cup. That feels good to me. And notice I can just solo the reverb track and we can just listen to the reverb. So light should be going off in your head here. Reverb is a separate track with separate volume when you use bus tracks. Now let's go back to the EQ here that I added and I haven't explained yet, but I'm going to do that now. So because bus tracks are separate individual tracks that have their own signal, we can EQ them. And usually, and what's typical is to low cut a reverb. So it takes away, you know, in that 400, 500 based on taste, it takes away any muddy signal that you might clash with your actual lead vocal. Remember, this is in our lead vocal here. It's only the reverb. So if I just solo the reverb and play, this is just the reverb. So I'm talking about, I'm just going to highlight the signals here. I'm talking about this reverb sound. I'm going to turn it up. See how this is the kind of muddy area. We don't need that muddy reverb, right? So we can cut it away with a low cut around like this. Have it shimmer. Something like this. So let's mix it in now with the rest of the track. And because I'm taking away volume here with the, the low cut, I might need to mix it in again, which I will. So let's do that again with the volume of the Vox Verb. Close my eyes, feel the sun on our face. We hear the music from the bar. Just have a listen to how much cleaner that already sounds with that low cut on. If I take that off and play it back. Close my eyes, feel the sun on our face. We hear. Think of EQ as a volume tool as well. Um, and it, it is essentially volume. You're turning volume up and down in specific frequency areas. It's just so much cleaner already when we put that low cut on. Close my eyes, feel the sun on our face. We hear the music from the bar. So that could be a big reason um, if your mix is sounding a bit muddy in the, in the vocals. It could be because of your reverb. So that's very important to EQ your aux tracks. Now let's go back to our lead vocal track and add a vox delay. So we go down again here bus 20, and the empty bus doesn't have to be below it. Vox delay. I will add my delay. Let's add a stock logic delay, a stereo delay of, let's do a quarter note on each side. Make sure that these are set to 100%. And we'll also add an EQ. Just like reverb, delay is more sound that can potentially mess up your mix. And right away, we're going to low cut this and we're going to mix it in after. We might have to come back and adjust this. We're going to do something like that. And we'll go to the track itself, the Vox Delay, right click, create track. So now we have three tracks doing essentially the same, the same thing more or less, but it's making it sound so much bigger. So let's go back up to the lead vocal and send a complete copy by going command, or sorry, option, click. And we're now sending all the dry signal to bus 20. So we can even solo that and have a listen to what the delay sounds like. Close my Close eyes, my feel eyes, the sun, the sun on, our on our face. We hear the music, hear the music from, from, the from the bar. Notice how it sounds thin. It sounds thin because we've cut away all those low signals. Now with the lead vocal together, Close my Close eyes, my feel, eyes the feel the sun on our, on our face. We hear the music, hear the music from, the from the bar. So let's try to mix that delay in with the volume with the rest of the track. Close my Close eyes, my feel, eyes the feel the sun on our, our face. We hear the music from the bar. There's a man selling drinks in a cake. We share a couple in the stars. That feels good to me. Now, here's another trick you can do that will expand your knowledge of using bus tracks and aux tracks. So let's go to our Vox Delay track. And we can actually, we can add any number of plugins we want on this track. So a cool trick to do sometimes on delay is to actually put the delay in a reverb as well. And this is important where you put 
the reverb. And I'm going to, that's why I brought this channel EQ down. And I'm going to go here and I'm going to go to my reverb, space designer, and I'll also put it in some type of a large space in some type of large hall. Let's try warm vocal hall. So now our on our specific Vox delay track, we have a delay, which is coming from our lead vocal, and then that delay is in a reverb. So that so you can think of the delay as even being further back because of the reverb. So have a listen in, in solo to what that is. I'll just turn it up for you. That's with the reverb. If I just turn the reverb off, Close my Close my eyes, much closer, the right? On our face. So that's just a tool in your production toolbox. If you want the delay to sound further away, put it in a reverb. If you want the delay to sound close, don't put it in a reverb. Now we can turn solo off and mix that in. Close my eyes, feel the sun on our face. We hear the music from the bar. Sounds much better to me with that delay in a reverb. Just like adding reverb, you can add, if you want to pitch that delay down as well. So maybe I'll add a, like a pitch shift and I will pitch it down 12 semitones at 100% mix. Here's what that sounds like. Now that delay, now we're first pitching the signal, then we're putting in a delay, then we're putting it in a reverb, then we're EQing it, which can sound cool. I don't think I'll use it for this song, but you could add distortion here, anything you want. You can compress it. This is the 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 benefit of aux tracks as they're completely separate tracks that you could do anything you want with them. That's how to bus reverb and delay. Now here's the here's a cool part about aux tracks as well as automation part and this is what I was saying at the beginning and how you can create more dynamic with your aux tracks for reverb and delays automate them now that there are there are separate tracks you can just automate the volume of these tracks and it's going to create a cool effect in your song and I really like doing this on delays for example with delays specifically it sometimes can get just too busy when you're singing lots of lyrics when you're not singing a lot of lyrics and there's kind of space in between the lyrics delays can pop out and be a production kind of ear candy that makes make things interesting. So what I want to do here with this lead box and box delay is I want the I want the delay to shine out in specific areas. And I'll do that by automating the volume. So I'll press A. I'll click in with volume and I just have to find the certain parts of where I want that delay to pop out. Maybe it's in this space. Maybe it's in this space here. You just have to experiment by playing back and adjusting the volume. On our face, we hear. So let's say it's this lyric here. Face. Face. So I want the delay to pop out face in this section. So let's try something like this. Face. We hear the music. Can you hear the delay? Face. We hear the music from the bar. Let's do bar as well. Bar. And maybe that's a bit much for the bar. The bar. So in context. Sun on our face. We hear the music from the bar. If you want to bring the relative volume down of everything, you can go here to trim and just bring all that down. It's a bit loud. And then you just, it's just about dialing in on what you, what feels, feels right. Sun on our face. We hear the music from the bar. For example, I think it's too loud here. So I'll bring those down. Let's bring these down. Same thing with, with Vox reverb. If you want the reverb to shine out in specific areas. And by the way, how I'm doing this kind of quick two dots is I'm holding um, command in my, my keyboard, which I have the marquee tool here in my command tool. And if you hold marquee and make a square, click in, 
it has those two dots there for you. It's just a quick way to get a shape going. That's how to bus reverb and delay. Always remember when you're bussing things out that you're creating separate tracks that give you the opportunity to be more um, flexible with how, how you affect those tracks, but also can be a killer to your mix because it's just adding more sound. And if you're wondering like, oh, I, I don't know where to add the reverb. Should I add it as a bus or should I add it as a plugin? And the, the, the answer to the question there should be, well, do you want to have a lot of flexibility on the reverb you're going to be adding? If yes, then add it as a bus. If you don't really care about dissecting and, and dialing in on the sound, there's no problem where you can just add the reverb on the plugin and dial it, dial it in on the plugin itself. That's, that's fine too. And there's no wrong answer there. You can always add it on the channel strip. You have always both options. I hope that's helped with you understanding how to bus reverb and delay. Let me know what you guys think in a comment and I hope to see you in the next video.